Welcome. This help video walks through the steps for the offline Excel feature to complete the Indigen form in your annual performance report, APR, including how to navigate to the APR, generate and download the Indigen template, enter data, and upload and process the completed file in the EHBs. Let's get started. To go to your APR, select Tasks from the top toolbar in the EHBs, and then select Submissions from the drop-down menu. Find your APR task and select Start or Edit from the Options column. Complete the Grant Purpose form, Training Program form, and Faculty Development Setup form, and select Save and Validate. Please note your program may not have all or any of these forms. Next, on the Indigen Individual Characteristics page, select Yes or No, indicating if you have new trainees or updates to provide for the trainees from a previous reporting period. Please note the Yes-No question does not need to be answered if it was selected in prior years. If you select Yes, complete the Indigen Individual Characteristics form. You have the option to complete the form in the EHBs or offline in Excel. To complete the form in the offline Excel format, select the Generate Template with Most Recent Indigen Data button to ensure the template you download is up to date. Important note! You must download the template each year to make sure you are using the most up-to-date data and latest configurations. Templates from previous years will not work correctly when you upload them into the system. You will receive an email when the template is generated and ready to download. This may take a couple minutes. If the template does not generate, please click the button again and try again. Then select the Download Template button to download the Excel file. Helpful tip! Be sure to save the file to a folder other than the Downloads folder. Important note, the Indigen Excel template is optimized for use with Microsoft Excel. If you use Mac OS or iOS devices, the Numbers software will not work properly. When you open the Excel file, the top of the spreadsheet displays advisory messages. To continue, click Edit Anyway. When prompted to confirm the removal of signatures, click Yes and OK, and finally, click Enable Content. The first tab on the spreadsheet displays important instructions. Please read the instructions before entering data on the spreadsheet. Important note, do not modify the format on the spreadsheet, for example, adding or removing columns. The system will not upload or process spreadsheets with changes or those in different format. When you are ready to enter data, select the Indigen tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet and complete the required fields. A few helpful tips. If there is data in the EHBs from a previous year, the data pre-populates on the spreadsheet. The row numbers in the EHBs will not match the row numbers in the Excel template. To enter a new record, use the next blank row. You must select the type of training program and enter the trainee unique ID. If you are missing one of these data points, the data for that row will not upload nor process into the EHBs. If you enter data manually in a field with a drop-down menu, be sure the data matches exactly as it is displayed in the drop-down menu. The Excel template displays validation messages if there is conditional information between one or more fields, data does not match, or a required field is left blank. Some fields allow you to select more than one option from a drop-down menu. To add a second selection, click on that option. All selected options will display in the cell. To remove a selection, click on that option from the drop-down menu again. Some fields are not editable, such as city and state. These fields are grayed out and do not allow data entry. And finally, after entering your data in the spreadsheet, save the file. To upload your completed file, in the EHBs, select Attach File in the Upload Trainee Data section. 
Be sure to select Process Data after uploading the file so the data populates on the table in the EHBs. Review the table to ensure everything is correct and select Save and Validate at the bottom of the Indigen page. Helpful tip! If you do not select Process Data prior to selecting Save and Validate, you will receive an error message informing you that your work could not be saved and validated. To correct this, you must either process the data or delete the file from the EHBs. Once the Excel file is processed and validated, validation errors may appear. You can correct these errors within the EHBs or using the offline template. If you need to make changes or work on the offline template again, be sure to click the Generate Template with Most Recent Indigen Data button and wait for the success message or email notification before downloading a new template to ensure the Excel file has the most recent data. Helpful tip! Only one file can be attached at a time. If data was updated in the Excel file, then the old file must be deleted and the new file added. Deleting the file permanently removes the file from the EHBs, but the data remains in the EHBs if it has already been processed. Once the data is validated and error-free, you can continue on to the next form. And that's it! Now you know how to use the offline Excel feature to complete the Indigen form in your APR. For additional support, please reach out to the EHB's customer support team at 877 464-4772. Thanks for watching.